Today, we have one job, and only one job, and that's to make sure the people of Florida get everything that they need to fully, thoroughly recover. We're one of the few nations in the world that, on a basis of a crisis we face, we're the only nation that comes out of it better than we went into it. And that's what we're going to do this time around, come out of it better. President Biden and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis put politics aside, at least for a day, as the president tours more hurricane damage and even compliments his potential 2024 rival. Plus, there's a new claim from the woman who says Herschel Walker paid for her abortion. Meanwhile, Walker doubles down on his defense that everyone but him is lying. Also ahead, what a dramatic cut in oil production overseas could mean for the price we pay at the pump. We have a lot ahead this morning. Good morning and welcome to Morning Joe. It is Thursday, October 6th, along with Joe, Willie, and me. We have U.S. Special Correspondent for BBC News, Caddy Kay, former Chairman of the Republican National Committee, Michael Steele, is with us this morning. And as always, the host of Way Too Early, White House Bureau Chief at Politico, Jonathan Lemire. Uh, so we'll get to our top story this morning, Willie. Yeah, it's front page of all the newspapers, pictures of President Biden and Governor Ron DeSantis together. One week after Hurricane Ian made landfall in Florida, President Biden warning more storms will come. The president visited Florida yesterday, just days after surveying storm damage in Puerto Rico. In Florida, President Biden and Governor Ron DeSantis temporarily put politics aside as they met with residents in the Fort Myers area. We were very fortunate to have good coordination uh, with the uh, White House and with FEMA. I think one of the things that you're seeing in this response, we are cutting through the bureaucracy. We are cutting through the red tape, uh, and that's from local government, state government, all the way up uh, to the president. So we appreciate uh, the, the team effort. I think he's done a good job. He's, look, I called in, I think even before he called me when I heard this was, the storm was on its way. We worked hand in glove. We have very different political philosophies, and we, but he, we worked hand in glove. I've been to a lot of disaster areas in the last couple months, uh, last six months. There's a lot going on, and I think the one thing this has finally ended is a discussion about whether or not there's climate change and we should do something about it. You can't build back to what it was before. You got to build back better because we know more is coming. We'll have a live report from Florida in just a moment here on Morning Joe. So, Joe, it should not be extraordinary, but I think people were relieved, perhaps, that uh, there was nothing political about yesterday. It was Joe Biden complimenting Governor DeSantis on the job he's done after the storm, and Governor DeSantis, likewise, uh, nodding to President Biden in his role there. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, not extraordinary uh, for most of our history, right. uh, but <laughs> extraordinary right now. And... Uh, you know, I I always thought that Chris Christie uh, catching all the grief yeah. he got for hugging yeah. uh, Barack Obama just showed the insanity of 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 our political situation because people don't understand that when you're in a hurricane zone, you always hear you always hear this this nonsense about oh a president shouldn't come or a governor shouldn't come because we're trying we're busy clearing this or busy clearing. Let me tell you something. My first year. Uh, in Congress, we had three hurricanes in Northwest Florida. I ran against Bill Clinton. When I was on the campaign trail, that guy was in every sentence. And you know what I found out when those hurricanes came? That when the president of the United States, be he or she a Republican or a Democrat, when they come into the middle of a hurricane situation, same thing with the governor, you know what? If you're having problems with FEMA, if you're having problems with SBA, if you're having problems with, with any of these government agencies, you got the president there. You say, Mr. President, we're having a trouble. We're having trouble getting these mm -hmm. SBA loans lined up. Or uh, We've had some trouble with FEMA. They're not letting people go back out, even though it's safe out on the island. They're not letting them go back to their houses and see if... They have any of their mementos left to see to see, you know, how their house is, whether it's still standing up. You get you have the president or the governor there. If, if the, and if they're good at what they're doing, everything clears for you bureaucratically. So let me just say this is such a good thing for people who have, have, have really taken a, a horrible storm, maybe the worst storm in Florida uh, in decades. And Mika, it's a good thing 
that Absolutely. Joe Biden and Ron DeSantis were there and that they were uh, cooperative and working together. Uh, and I hope uh, that everybody can look at that and celebrate it, just like we try to celebrate uh, when there are bipartisan bills uh, that are passed through Congress, despite all the craziness, the nonsense, despite all the anti-American talk about uh, fake election results. Uh, these are moments that, that you, you grab hold to and say, this is Absolutely. how we tie the fabric of America together. No, and, and critics of the, the Christie hug, uh, I bet you none of them were near a hurricane zone. When people are hurting exactly. and people are desperate and their homes have been decimated, nobody wants to see anything but unity between a governor and a president. They do not want to see any daylight between them when it comes to getting their lives back on track.